All right, let's uh, let's dive off of that one. Let's talk actual, real football. Dak Prescott. It was announced this morning he is going to sign his franchise tender. I believe the total is $31.4 million for this year, and they are going to continue contract negotiations moving towards the NFL deadline. Uh, I think it is... Uh, I think this was a smart move by him. I don't think you were going to get more than this anywhere else. Uh, go out, play another prove-it year. Like, I understand, you know, it, the four years leading up to it should have been your prove-it years, but you're in a fantastic spot right now. Uh, go out and play. Make 30-something million dollars. I mean, that's more than he has made it in the entire life of his first four listen, years. Listen, if they're not prepared... If, if they're not prepared for next year's draft or for life without Dak after this, they'll franchise you again. Yeah. Which and will you be can even make more money. 40-something million next year. Yeah. I mean, it's it, this is incredible wealth, right? Incredible wealth. Somebody will give you a Kirk Cousins deal yes. for three years and 30 million a piece. And so over the five years of that you've played, you got, you know, 30 to $40 million. That's well, and, a hell of a deal. You've also got uh, more teams that will figure out what their quarterback situation is. A l- like everybody right now likes their situation. Yes. So the, the hardest part is, is we have too many quarterbacks and not enough jobs, which we've never had since I've been watching football. Now we we don't know necessarily that that means that everybody's going to be good. It obviously no, doesn't. No, 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 no. It means that everybody has found a, a spot other than Cam Newton and then Jameis Winston is a well, less than a million dollar a year backup. The, like, the, the GMs are married to certain people because their job depends on it, okay? Yes. The GM in Chicago made a deal for Nick Foles that anybody in the world, I, I just believe, is a fireable offense. Because you gave up assets and you're way grossly overpaying Nick Foles for where you could have had um, uh, Cam Newton for zero assets given up, and all you had to do was wait an extra month and a half. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I just don't. I just don't understand it. You gave up extra assets to get Trubisky. Failed experiment. That's fine. You know you've got a losing hand. You fold that hand. I, I appreciate the value of being smart enough to do that. But then you just grab at the first thing you can grab, and you don't. Look at the market. You don't play the field. You don't figure anything out. You just get desperate and you just grab at straws. This is what you get. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. That guy's been fired. Joseph Gomez jumps in and said, uh, first off, Troy Aitman gives me an ulcer when he tries to uh, predict the play. <laughs> He's, dude, that guy has such a complex from Tony Romo. Yes. He was pretty good. And then Romo got in his world, and now he is just so self-conscious. Oh, it's, yeah. It's kind of sad. Well, I mean, Troy Romo was actually playing in somewhat of the modern NFL. At, Troy never did. So, never, never you know. did. Uh, Joseph said, no way the Chargers like their situation. Uh, they they claim they do. I mean, they just drafted a new guy. So, we'll see. Uh, Matt said, Dak to New Orleans when Breeze retires. I don't know that I... I don't know that I buy that. I don't think he fits uh, what they do. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I think Sean Payton can do anything with anybody. I think, well, I think that's wrong. I, I think I think they would rather keep Jameis uh, than try and hire Dak Prescott for forty million a year. Like I don't know that. I don't know that. I mean, you you might be right. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Damien Estrada. No, I'm saying the problem the Saints are going to have is Captain. That is a team that lives like a prize fighter, baby. They spend every nickel they make the second they've made it. They got no money in the bank whatsoever. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to have cap room to pay Jameis. Uh, Damian Estrada said, Dak is just a kiss ass because don't nobody want, uh, don't, nobody wants him, especially for 40 million, which he is definitely not worth. Oh, he ain't uh, worth $40 million. No. There's no way. Whoever pays him $40 million, I believe will, it'll, it'll greatly affect their franchise in a negative way. And uh, I like Dak as a dude. But I, he ain't that great. Uh, Matt Miller said, uh, or Chicago. Uh, he was talking about the uh, the breeze, like when New Orleans uh, comes up. Um, I mean, Dak, Dak, I could see Dak in Chicago, I guess, maybe. Chicago was married to Foles for two years based on that deal. So Yeah, yeah, they got to figure something out. You got $50 um, million dollars coming to him in the next two years. They're not giving that up. Guaranteed. Uh, Michael said the Chargers keep telling themselves that they love their quarterback situation. And then he said Dak to Indy would not be bad. Uh, and then Ben said, who keeps telling Dak he is worth so much money? 
Uh, that would be his agent. His agent. Um, <laughs> Jose jumped in. He said, if he doesn't win the Super Bowl, Jerry Jones is going to sign a different quarterback. I think so, too. Yeah, I think so. I, I really believe that. And then Michael said, whoever pays Dak $40 million needs to be drug tested. I think I might agree with that. I mean, well, I mean that's that would a lot be of a money. In Indianapolis, then. That's, a, that's an owner that couldn't pass the drug test. So. <laughs> I completely forgot about Ursa. <laughs> Dude's been called methamphetamines multiple times. Yeah, like did several DUIs. And, he's just and got money else. to fix uh, those teeth, all right? But he is no different than the junkie on the side of the street. He's just rich. Damian Estrada said, hell no, I would rather have Kaepernick than overrated Dak in Chicago. I, I think Chicago just oh, wants wait. a competent quarterback. I think I, yeah, co- they, they are built for a competent quarterback to look really, really good right now. Yeah. They really are. The problem is, in two or three years, will they be? Because the NFL teams, guys get old fast in the NFL. And, you know, right now, some of these guys are coming into their prime and they got a few good years. But we're talking, if you give Foles two more years, three years from now, what does that team look like? Nobody in the world knows what their team looks like in three years. Yeah. Yeah. Because half those veterans will be gone. I mean, the average length of anybody's career is only three years. Now, you're so right about that. A, a fraction of your young guys will be gone. Uh, Michael jumps in and said, Ursay is my favorite. He gave us Manning. And then Joseph said, didn't Ursay get caught with a pound of cocaine and he's free? Uh, yeah. I'm telling you. That's what money gets you. Yeah, That's there's a I'm lot of uh, guys that, that are of the same wealth level of NFL owners that have been caught with probably worse and, and are roaming around free. Uh, Matt Miller said Chicago would take anyone. Jay Cutler is the best quarterback they've had in the last 30 years. Uh, Michael Fritz said the Colts in general are great, Elway and Manning. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Now, we hey, we don't hate the Colts. I mean, we should. No, We're in Tennessee no, I, Titans country. But. No, I, I like I like the Colts organization. I, I, I am a big Frank Wright believer, so I got a lot of emotional investment in him being. There you go. I really I can believe it. I can believe it.